What's good, y'all? Team Man Maze for KicksInTheCity.com, coming to y'all from the KATC stockroom. Now, in this episode, we're going to be doing a little something different. I know you're probably splurging your family and, of course, yourselves during the holiday season, so we're going to give your pockets a break, and in the spirit of the New Year's, we're going to reflect on 2008. Now, a lot of big things happened in the sneaker world in 2008, but none were bigger than the 23rd anniversary of the Air Jordan line. So in this New Year's episode of the KATC Stockroom, we're going to take a look at the 23-year history of the Air Jordan line and Michael Jordan's career through every countdown package release leading up to the Air Jordan 23. Now, obviously, there isn't enough time for one person to completely wrap up the impact that Michael Jordan had on the court and his cultural significance, but I'm going to give you a few key details on each Air Jordan and Michael Jordan's career. So let's kick off this New Year's episode of the KATC Stockroom. Now in 84-85, Michael Jordan enters the league fresh off of his gold medal and NCAA championship. Later that year, he brings out the Air Jordan 1. Designed by Peter Moore, the Air Jordan 1 was groundbreaking because of the color. Michael Jordan was fined $5,000 for each game that he played in them because it did not adhere to the league's rules. In the Air Jordan 1, Michael Jordan shattered records for the rookie and brought home the rookie of the year. 86-87, the Air Jordan 2. Designed by Bruce Kilgore, who also designed the Air Force 1, the Air Jordan 2 was groundbreaking because it was the first performance basketball sneakers to be fully made in Italy. It was the last of the Air Jordan's Wings logo, and Michael Jordan only played in 18 games that year because of a broken foot. 87-88, the Air Jordan 3. The Air Jordan 3 single-handedly saved the Jordan line as a United Tinker Hatfield of Michael Jordan for the first time. The Air Jordan 3 introduced the Jumpman logo, introduced the visible air unit to the Air Jordan line, and of course, introduced the now iconic elephant print. Michael Jordan went on to win the slam dunk contest this year, and it was the first time that we would see Mars Blackman and Money get together. 88-89, the Air Jordan 4. The Air Jordan 4, designed by Tinker Hatfield, introduced mesh in the sidewalls, introduced the plastic wings, introduced a plastic heel tab, and introduced the flight logo under the Jumpman. It was the first Air Jordan to be priced above $100. MJ went on to average 32 points that year, and the Air Jordan 4 was immortalized in Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. 89.90, the Air Jordan 5. Tinker Hatfield designed, inspired by the Mustang fighter plane. Introduced reflective tongue, the clear outsole, and the lace lock. Mars Blackman once again came back for the Air Jordan 5, and money averaged 34 points a game. 90.91, the Air Jordan 6. Of course, designed by Tinker Hatfield once again. After he designed the Nike Air Max 90, he brought that black and infrared color to the Air Jordan 6. Reintroduced the plastic heel tab and introduced the two-finger tongue tab. Brought back the clear outsole as well. Michael Jordan went on to win the MVP, was on the All-NBA team, was on the All-Defense team, and more importantly, he won his first championship by beating the Showtime Lakers. 91-92, the Air Jordan 7. The Air Jordan 7, another product of Tinker Hatfield, it was the first Jordan to not feature the Nike Air. Michael Jordan won his second consecutive MVP, his second consecutive All-NBA selection, his second consecutive All-Defensive selection, and of course, his second consecutive championship and off the court, it paired Michael Jordan with Bugs for the very first time. Outside of the league, Michael Jordan went on to win the gold in the Barcelona 1992 Summer Olympics in the Air Jordan 7. 92-93, the Air Jordan 8. The Air Jordan 8, another Tinker Hatfield creation, introduced the cross straps, brought back the inner booty from the Air Jordan 7 and the chenille tongue. It was higher cut to provide for more ankle support. Michael Jordan averaged 32 points, won his third consecutive championship, and Michael Jordan and Bugs appeared in ads once again. 93-94, the Air Jordan 9. Collaborative effort between Tinker Hatfield and Mark Smith was designed to represent the fact that basketball was becoming global. It was the first Air Jordan that Michael did not wear on the court because this was during his first retirement. Little known fact, MJ is actually wearing the 9s on the statue of himself outside of the United Center. 94-95, the Air Jordan 10. Air Jordan 10, initially designed while Michael Jordan was still in his first retirement, it features a full-length air unit, and Tinker used the stripes in the outsole to highlight Michael Jordan's accomplishments. It was the first sneaker to have regional released colorways, it initially featured a toe cap that Michael Jordan removed mid-production because he didn't like it. In March of that year, Michael Jordan came back with two words, I'm back. 
95, 96, the Air Jordan 11. Designed by Tinker Hatfield, the Jordan 11 was a lower cut sneaker that featured ballistic mesh in the upper. It was the first sneaker to introduce carbon fiber to provide assistance for MJ's plantar fasciitis. It was the first sneaker in the Air Jordan line to feature patent leather, and MJ once told Tinker that someone would wear the sneaker while wearing a tuxedo. MJ changed his number back to number 23 and kicked off his second consecutive three-peat. 96-97, the Air Jordan 12. It was initially inspired by women's high-heeled shoes and the Japanese Army and Navy flag. It introduced rich premium leather and metal eyelets. It was the first official sneaker of the Jordan brand. It was also the first Air Jordan sneaker to introduce Zoom Air. While wearing the Air Jordan 12, MJ won his second consecutive championship. 97, 98, the Air Jordan 13. Air Jordan 13, designed by Tinker Hatfield, was inspired by MJ's Panther-like game. MJ first told Tinker that people called him the Black Cat during the design process. It has a paw-like outsole and the hologram. It also brought back the 3M reflected that was first introduced in the Air Jordan 5. MJ wore the Air Jordan 13 throughout the season, and in the playoffs, he introduced the Air Jordan 14. 98-99, the Air Jordan 14. It was designed by Tinker Hatfield and Mark Smith and was inspired by the Ferrari 550. It has seven Jumpman logos on each sneaker, totaling 14 on the pair. It has a Ferrari-like logo and MJ wore it during his iconic last shot to beat the Utah Jazz and seal his second consecutive three-peat. Now, after draining that last shot against the Utah Jazz and completing his second three-peat, Michael Jordan once again walked away from the game of basketball and entered the third phase of his career.